What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. We're on the ROG Ally X here checking out LEGO Horizon Adventures. And the game runs great on all the handhelds I've been testing it on, including of course the Ally X here. So we'll get into it, we'll look at 1080p, a little bit of 900p and 720p, some various settings, and we're gonna stick with 25 watts handheld here, not plugged in or anything. So getting into the settings here, you've got plenty to play with, but what mostly affects things as you'll see here is gonna be your resolution or your TSR. Of course low medium and high will have an effect here as well the game's really gpu bound so it, it's affected pretty greatly by those three settings and the tsr there's no fsr or anything like that in the game so you're going to use a percentage from 30 to 100 percent with tsr on so 34 36 fps in this area and if we switch over to let's see bring this down to 30 percent i don't like to go below 50 percent in this game i said the same thing on the steam deck it gets to looking pretty rough if you look at the npcs in the top right there there's a lot of ghosting and pixelating and stuff that happens when you push the upscaler uh, the tsr upscaling that far so for me 50 percent is kind of my bottoming out point i'd rather lower my resolution and then up the percentage of tsr and get a clearer image so that's kind of where that falls but if you're running high 50 percent is what you're going to wind up going with 70 percent it's going to bring things down too low on fps and the 30 percent just doesn't look good so their their thing here with the high 50 percent is fine now something like 900p here with that would work okay you get quite a little bump again resolution and tsr percentage is going to make a big difference on what you're getting for your fps here the game runs pretty smooth regardless but switching over to 720p with those same settings bumping up from 43 to 55 so obviously 1080p 900p 720p quite an increase in performance and then tweak your tsr for the image quality and fps you want and then low medium or high they're all going to affect each other there go in the medium settings here and i'm going to stick with that 50 percent tsr we'll be at around 47 instead of 34 to 36 here which high was so again quite a big difference even just change in the quality settings there and then if we go in here and go to low keeping that 50 percent tsr here with the 1080p we'll be at around 58 fps so another nice jump there almost pushing 60 sitting here and performance in this hub of ours here is actually lower than a lot of real world performance we get out in gameplay which of course I'm going to have you guys take a look at as well. And then here's 70% at 720p as well. And you could even do native, which you'll see in the gameplay as well. But that's what I want to leave you guys with. This was kind of an explanation of the settings and where you might want to head to tweak things between your TSR, your low, medium, and high, and your 720p, 900p, or 1080p. 25 watts is great, but you can get away with some 17 to 22 stuff as well, especially if you're bringing the settings down. But I'll pretty much leave it at that. I just want to explain the settings. And now I'll leave you guys with some gameplay so you can see the real world performance for some of these settings for yourselves and uh, how the game's working here on the Ally X. All right, guys, as always, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh. 
Control the power. I wonder if I can shock it. Thank you. 